A very interesting tool for getting the data on specific markets is Statista, which is a portal which is aggregating data from other web pages and it provides them in a, let's say, easily searchable manner. Uh, we have here uh, many ways to, to look for the data. One of the basic ones is going through the search. So for example, here I can look for the term I'm interested in. So let's say I'm interested in opening a restaurant. And then it shows me basically what kind of data it has available. So here, for example, here it is a ranking of the most popular fast foods and restaurants in uh, Germany. And then there is some leading quick uh, services, etc., etc., etc. If you click here, it will show you whether this is uh, data available or to what extent this is available for free and for what for premium users. So here, for example, this is what is available for the uh, users, free users. So we have, for example, the most popular fast foods restaurants comparison um, by years. So as we can see, this is the McDonald's in Germany. And um, it has been changing over the, there, there was hardly any change over the years. The second is Burger King, Nordsee, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the other way to, to, to use the data is going through topics. So for example, I can pick here a topic I'm interested in. So let's say I'll go for clothes and shoes for e-commerce here. So this shows me a lot of estimation on the market. So for example, here we've got uh, the estimation of the US market in US uh, millions of dollars. So how it has been changing and the composition. This blue is clothes and accessories and uh, the darker shade is uh, shoes and leather. Good. Uh, here you've got the, the trends of what is the e-commerce percentage, what is the e-commerce size. And um, we have here also by countries, how does it look like? And obviously some of the data are available only for users who pay the, the premium. Uh, you can also use it by, let's say businesses. So here, for example, I used as topic businesses and let's say I use the Starbucks. So I should have all the data they've got on, um, on Starbucks. So for example, here's the, the, the size valuation, then the number of established to US coffees. How does it look like? You can go for details. And there you have it. Some of them are available also to, to get it through access like here. So if I press it and I have the, the premium account, I'm able to get the data. If not, I have to basically rewrite it from here. So this is a very good tool for uh, checking whether they already have aggregated the data you need and acquiring them or comparing them to your estimation from other methods we have shown.